How much does it really cost to own a boat? In today's video, we'll go over everything you need to know as an owner. A boat is one of the most exciting things that you can buy, but it's also important to understand just what you'll be paying aside from its initial purchase cost. Let's get right into it. There are many things to consider when calculating the cost of a boat, but I've got good news. It's pretty easy to calculate. The most obvious and often the largest cost is the sale of the price of the boat. This cost ranges tremendously from $500 pre-owned fixer uppers to luxury boats that are over hundred grand. From here, you can go in two directions. You can either pay the boat in full or you can finance the boat, which over 70% of boaters do. There are many great online loan calculators that show you the average cost per month of financing a boat. State taxes. You may also need to pay state sales taxes. Some states don't have a sales tax on boats, such as Rhode Island and Delaware, but here in North Carolina, we have a 3% tax on boat sales, but it's capped at $1,500. Other states, such as South Carolina with 10.5% sales tax, have even higher tax rates. But in South Carolina, the tax on boats is also capped at $500, but they also have a much higher annual luxury tax. So tax rates largely vary from state to state. Property taxes. You'll likely have to pay personal property taxes for boats just as you would with an RV or plane. Personal property taxes are often dependent on which county you live in. Our county's personal property tax sits around 0.695% and is incurred yearly. Insurance. According to Forbes, the average cost of a boat insurance policy is generally $200 to $500 a year, or around 1 to 5% of your boat's value. Several factors may also affect your insurance rates, including where you live, the type of boat, its horsepower, its age, your boating history, and whether or not you have completed a boating safety course. Storage. Many boat owners will store their boats at marinas and other storage facilities during the off season. The typical price for boat storage is $50 to $200 per foot of boat length. For example, if you have a 20 foot long boat and the storage rate is $100 a foot, look at paying $2,000 for storage. And of course, if you have the ability to store your boat on your own property, this is not an expense that will apply to you. Trailer. Many boats come with a trailer at the point of purchase. If yours does not, then you likely need one so you can safely store and transport your boat. Trailer prices are entirely a function of the boat size. The average boat size in our particular market is around 20 to 22 feet. An average tandem axle trailer for that type of boat is around $5,500. Now, of course, smaller trailers with only one axle can be substantially less and larger trailers can be substantially more. Registration. Registration expenses are relatively inexpensive, but it's worth noting. As you may have guessed, registration fees vary from state to state. In North Carolina, it costs $130 to register a boat less than 26 feet long for three years. Maintenance and service. Your boat and trailer require regular annual maintenance to ensure its longevity and performance. Here are most of the maintenance items that need to be addressed and their typical cost. Winterization, which may be yearly, $200 to $500, and annual engine service, which is also around $200 to $500. Gas. 64% of boaters say they purchase less than 50 gallons of gas per boating season. However, pro anglers burn around 20 gallons of gas per day. So gas consumption amongst boat owners varies, thus do the costs. With the price of gas at around $4 per gallon in 2022, this means that you'll be spending around $800 if you go through 200 gallons per season. Boat essentials. Other essentials such as life jackets, first aid supplies, fishing gear, coolers, and more will add a little bit more to your yearly cost as well. These tools help keep you and your family safe and enhance your experience on the water. So what's the total yearly cost of owning a boat? As you may have guessed, it depends on what you vote on and how you choose to vote. But let's use a Sun Tracker Party Barge 22 as an example. The total purchase price, including an optional trailer and sales tax, is around $47,000. With an average boat loan, you can expect to pay around $500 a month or $6,000 a year. If you live where we're based, you can expect to pay $300 in personal property taxes every year as well. It's about $40 per year to register your boat too. Let's assume you'll also pay around $300 a year to insure your boat. Now, fortunately, the boat already comes with a trailer and you don't have to worry about paying for storage, which would have been around $2,000. Now, you can't forget about routine maintenance and servicing. That's around $800 per year, which includes winterization, if needed, of course, engine service, and regular cleaning of the boat, both inside and out. Let's assume that you also love to be out on the water and you use around 200 gallons of gas per year, which sets you back approximately $800. Finally, factor in any essentials and you're ready to sum everything up. 
Aside from your annual boat finances, you can expect to pay around $2,200 a year for yearly maintenance, gas, registration, and insurance, or around $4,200 if you also need to pay for storage. But as we've stated, prices largely depend on which boat you have and what kind of lifestyle you have on the water, so this figure could be higher or lower. As we said, it's important to have an idea of how much time and money you'll have to dedicate to your boat per year, and we hope that this video has helped you with that. Regardless, buying a boat is one of the most exciting purchases you can make, and at Foothills Marine, we're here to make that process as fun, fast, and as stress-free as possible. Check our description on how you can contact us and be on the water with your dream boat in no time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next Learning Hub video.